So the question of why is it dangerous to look at the eclipse is simple. We don't normally look at the sun. Looking at the sun at any time is dangerous because of the UV light, the eye, um, infrared light that can damage your eyes. During the eclipse, the most dangerous time actually is as the sun is being covered, we don't have that eversion reflex, that blink reflex to the bright light because most of the sun is covered, but it still causes the same amount of damage to the eyes. So the, the UV light, the ultraviolet light, and the infrared light damages the parts of the eye, the back of the eye, called the retina, right at the part of your central vision. And it basically uh, damages those cells um, called the photoreceptors, and they often do not recuperate, so it's permanent damage. So importantly, there's no treatment. Prevention is key, and oftentimes the symptoms will be blurriness, um, sometimes some sensitivity to light, and missing parts of your vision. Those are called scotomas, or waviness to your vision. And the vision may return, but those missing spots most of the time do not. So there's no special treatment, and uh, that's why we're sending the message of preventing it. So great question. Everyone's asking, how do we prevent this uh, potential solar retinopathy? And you need to wear special glasses, sunglasses, your regular eyeglasses, um, any kind of polarized glasses, none of those will protect your eyes from the UV light. These are solar eclipse glasses. They block out 99% of all the damaging rays. And when you look through them, it's pitch dark. So you can't move with the glasses on. You need to put them on uh, looking away from the sun, put the glasses on, look up at the sun, and then when you take them off, also look away from the sun. So there's no risk of damaging your eyes. And when you look at, these ones are supplied by the city of Kingston. Um, get them from a reputable source. They should have the ISO certification number on the inside. So parents at home with their kids on the day of the solar eclipse should keep in mind a few things. And these are the same things I'm telling my patients. I'm a pediatric ophthalmologist. What I'm telling my own family, I have three young kids. So if you can practice putting the solar eclipse glasses on your kids before the day of the solar eclipse, because you don't want to be finding out they're kind of futzy or they don't like them on their face while the three minute event is happening. It's very important that the glasses aren't treated as a toy. So you don't want kids running around playing with them, scratching them. The lens need to be perfectly um, non-scratched and not bent for them to be protective. And they're completely blackout glasses, so a child should never be moving or an adult shouldn't be moving with them on. Although the solar eclipse is an amazing uh, phenomenon for uh, older children and adults to experience, for young kids who um, may not be able to keep the glasses on, we're actually recommending that the glasses are kept on at all times. And to also keep in mind there's other ways to experience the solar eclipse. Go to the NASA website, you can do a pinhole not looking at the solar eclipse and there's a lot of resources on our website to find out how else you can enjoy the day.